Don't miss this one. Killer shadow boxing hit with abs. Let's go. All right, we've got 22 rounds of intervals today. Short combinations with core intervals in between. You ready? Round one, we start right here. Let's go with that one, two. Jab, cross, one, two. So we're gonna stick here, one, two, and move. Jab, cross. If you are a righty, it's that left, right. If you are a lefty, it's the right, left, right? The dominant hand is, is the back hand, right? All right, we've got about 13 more seconds here. One, two, I want you to keep this very light. Take it all the way out of the midline. Uh, sh loosen up those shoulders, right? Start moving the feet. Maybe move your head a little bit in between. And three, two, and one. Okay, let's take it down to the ground. Check it out. We're gonna go ahead with some sit-ups. We're gonna alternate our knees. Double each side. So both our legs are straight and you're gonna pull that knee in into that sit-up. If this is too much for you, you could always just give me regular sit-ups or crunches. It's really entirely up to you, but either way, I want that flexion with the core, flexion of the spine. Pull, pull, alternating right, alternating left. Hang on to it. We've got three, two, and one. Okay, folks, so this is what's gonna happen now. We are repeating round one again and round two. So again, we're gonna start off round two with that one, two. Let's get it. Jab, cross, boom, boom. Now that we know how to throw those punches, let's move a little bit more in between. Right? I know this is still the beginning of our workout, so keep it light, keep it light, right? Don't focus so much on the power, just give me some speed, pop, pop, right? You find that rhythm, move in between, right? Maybe now this is your chance to get a little sassier, give it a little bit more attitude, right? Pop, pop, get those hands all the way out, right into the midline, right down the pipeline, one, two, good, three, two, one, we take it back down to the ground for the same core exercise. We go two single knee sit-ups, alternating right, alternating left. You want to come up all the way into the tailbone. And again, this is advanced, so if it's too much for you, regular sit-ups is fine. If you need it to be assisted, that's cool too. Or regular crunches, as long as you've got spinal flexion, right? That's it. Ten more seconds. Pull, pull, pull. Do your best. Don't pull on the neck with those hands. Keeping it nice and easy. You've got three, two, and one. All right, new combo. New core exercise, new abdominal exercise coming up in less than five seconds. I hope you're starting to really feel warm now. Here we go, loosening up. We're gonna go roll two, three, roll three, two. What is that? Roll, cross, hook. Roll, hook, cross. So you're alternating your sides. You are defending with double counter punches, two counter punches, right? One is the cross hook and one is the hook cross. Cross, lead hook, lead hook cross. Good, roll two, three, roll three, two. Keep it moving, you've got three, you've got two, and one. We'll take it down to the ground. We are gonna go into high plank position. These are called hesitation mountain climbers. One, two, three, hold, pop, pop, hold. Pop, pop, hold. So you're climbing those knees in and you're kind of holding your stance for like a good two, three seconds. One, two, hold. And one, two, hold. Let's get this again. Got 10 seconds left of this interval. That's it. Keep pumping your breath. Try to really stick that landing. Excellent job. Three, two, one. Awesome. If you've got that opportunity, go ahead. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know that you like this video. If you like this workout. And drop a comment. All right. We're hitting up that fourth round. The same thing. The same exact combination. Roll, two, three. Roll, three, two. Boom, boom, under, boom, boom, under, boom, boom. Notice how we're constantly alternating, right? We land on the right, we go to the left. We land on the left, we go to the right. That's it, nothing else changes. Make sure you find that rotation in those hips. Perfect, we're planting those feet and we are just fighting in, that's it. Three, two, one. Let's go back to that core exercise, hesitation mountain climbers. In, in, hold. In, in, hold. Doing great. 20 seconds left. That's it. Really pull that navel in towards the back of the spine. Keep it tight. All right, we don't want, we don't want to hike those hips up towards the ceiling or towards the sky, right? That butt is in line with the rest of the spine. Less than 10. You have five seconds left. Come on, get those reps in, baby. Get those reps in. Boom, boom, boom. And take it up, shake it loose. Perfect. Round four is done. Moving on to round five. We got a total of 22 today. Seems like a lot, but it's going to go real fast, I promise. 
Sirigo, new combo. So single, single, double uppercuts, okay? And you're gonna alternate your sides. So it'll be rear, lead, lead, and then lead, rear, rear. So there's been a debate about what we call that rear uppercut. Some of us call that the six, some of us call that the four. I call it the four. Either way, you're going back, front, 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 back, back, uppercuts. And you're alternating your single, single, double, single, single, double. Good, all right, here we go. Onto the ground, we're gonna stick to one side. You're gonna roll onto your right, and we're gonna go staggered side, V-sit. So right leg, left leg, left, right. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. And of course, if this is too much, you can bend your knees and do the same exact thing. Find the variation of this that works for you. I always like to teach the progression rather than modifications because I like to challenge you, all right? You won't know if you can do something unless you actually try to do it. All right, take it up, shake it loose, nice work. We are going to repeat again with that uppercut, uppercut, and you double each side, right? Single, single, double, and three, two, one, let's go. Up, up, up. Back, front, front. Now front, back, back. Boom, boom, boom. Good, I want you to dig, dig into the body. Find, find your leg power here, find your hip power here. Everything's about the rotation. Right? The power comes from the hips. That's it, boom, boom, boom. And really dig, dig like a dagger, straight through that body. Less than 10 seconds. Good work. We've got three, two, and one. All right, take it down to the ground. Let's go ahead on to that uh, core exercise again, this time on the left side. We stagger those legs up. So you hold it up, up, down, down. Really try to get onto the, the tip of those hips. Try to get up there, right? If that is too much for you, you can always just keep your mid back on the ground and just lift the shoulder blades off the ground. That's another variation of this. Choose what's right for you, either way you're working hard and you're getting those reps in. All right, we've got three seconds, two, and one. New combo, new core exercise. How are you feeling so, much, so far? I wanna know, go ahead, drop a comment. Let me know, let me know, let me know. I love interacting with you. Let's get to it. Here's a really cool combination. One, two, three, check three. What does that mean? You're gonna throw your jab cross hook, and then that second hook, you're gonna actually move your feet. And you're gonna bully the opponent. We call this the check hook. We kind of move them out of the way. It's like a slapping hook, right? But you're moving and you're gaining a different angle. We've got 10 more seconds here. Bang, good. You're wrapping around that opponent. Bang, bang. Moving it between three, two, and one. Take it to the ground. All right, on to our back. We're gonna go rock to sit twist. Come to the shoulders, stick the landing on the tailbone. Twist towards the opposite knee. Now notice my legs are up the entire time. There's a lot of core control that is happening here. Stick that landing on that tailbone and then find that twist working the internal obliques. Nice job, we've got 10 seconds, you're doing great and it's okay if this feels hard. If you feel clumsy, it's okay. You just gotta try and keep working at it. Three, two, one. Don't worry, you have a second opportunity, right? Remember, we're repeating all the rounds twice. So, in less than three, two, one, we're going with the one, two, three, check three, bang. Good, again, ha, 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 boom, turn it around. Now that you know what you're doing, maybe this is your opportunity to get a little sassy, move the head in between, get your footwork in, right? Maybe you're throwing your punches a little bit faster now. Now that you feel it and you've been practicing, right, you're gonna make this better and better and better in 10 more seconds. Good, 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 get a little attitude. That's it, doing great, let's go champ. Come on, show that hustle now. Three, two, one. All right, let's go rock to sit, rock to sit. Add that twist, boom. Good, 20 more seconds here, come on. Do your best, use your breath, your breath is everything. The inhale and the exhale, right? It's gonna get you through these reps, I, I promise, right? You can do it. Keep at it. You have five seconds left and you change all of it up again. Three, two, one. How are you feeling? I'm so proud of you. You're doing great. Are you ready for that next round? All right, we're gonna take it up now. One, two, three, jabs up. Pop, pop, pop. I want you to use your footwork. Pop, pop, pop. Keep those jabs nice and loose. Bang, bang, bang. Good, good. Good. Notice that my little jab hand is a little bit further out away from the body, right? We're just 
it's not like an attack move as well. It's to gauge. It's to keep the opponent away, right? Keeping our distance. We're keeping our distance away, and then we're getting aggressive with that triple jab going up. Ba, ba, ba. That's it. All right, cool. Let's take it down and go to your right side. We're in a low side plank position. We're going to take that left elbow, and we're going to let it touch the ground. So we're going to twist in. Let that elbow touch. Get as far down as you can. 15 seconds to go. You're doing awesome. Remember, if it's too much for you, you could always drop those knees. You can bend those knees and you can do it on a kneeling side low plank. All right? Three, two, and one. Kick it up, shake it loose. Repeat, repeat, repeat. And of course, we're gonna do that low plank on the other side. All right, here we go. Check it out. Now we're doing that triple jab, but guess what? We're moving back. Just as you're able to get comfortable moving forward, I want you to be able to punch and move back. Okay? Bang, bang, bang. And again, keeping that jab hand out away from the midline to assess the distance to keep the space. And then now, you're at the point of defending yourself and countering at the same time. You're not letting the opponent, that opponent get to you. You're learning to be offensive and defensive. All right, take it down. Low side plank twist, this time left. Let that opposite elbow touch. Boom. Find that internal twist so those but obliques actually work. We have obliques that run diagonally, internally, and we have obliques that run along the sides of our body. Right now, we are working the internal obliques. Good. Keeping the core strong. Keep breathing. You have three, two, and one. Nice work. Moving on, new combo, new abdominal or core exercise. All right, baby, we got that back hands coming up. Are you ready? Let's go. Ha. Okay. Nice. Again, two, uppercut, two, duck. Two, uppercut, two, duck. Like I said, there is a debate, so I don't want to confuse anybody. Many people will call that the two, six, two, duck. I won't because I didn't learn that from my coach, and every coach is different. I learned it as the Two, four, two, duck. Remember, the number system is not universal. Many gyms, boxing gyms, will, you know, have a different system, a number system. Just so you know, I don't know if you knew that, but that's the truth. All right, low plank inchworm. You've got that core now. So you're on your elbows. Walk, walk, walk. In, in, in. Out, 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 out. Good work. Take these small, teeny, tiny, tiny, Teeny tiny tiny, did I say teeny tiny little steps and find your core control. Get those hips up and then slowly lower back into a beautiful neutral position and find three, two, one. Take it up. As I was saying to you, um, the number system isn't exactly universal, but I will tell you this, the one, two, three is pretty much basic. So now here we go. Two, uppercut, two, and duck. Two, uppercut, two, and duck. Two, six, two, duck. Or two, four, two, duck. If you're training with me, we get to call that four, baby. Boom, 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 bang, boom. So now you're wondering, if I call this the four, what is the six? Well, that's my rear hook, okay? Here we go. Two, up, two, down, two, up, two, down. Nice. Let's take it back down to the low inchworm. Let's go. Low plank position. Walk, 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 walk. Almost like you're about to do a shoulder stand and then take it down. Getting back to neutral position, right? Stick the landing, guys. I can't stress enough how important that is. Like, really take the slow and, and find that plank and really hold it strong. Good, 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 good. Tight core, tight core. Back is working. Abdominals. Even though shoulders are getting a little bit of a workout, you know that. That's what happens in plank. All right, take it up, shake it loose. By the way, plank is a full body exercise. The legs should be strong. Everything is strong here. Okay, move in on. Let's do it. All right, here we go. I love this one. We're going to duck those uppercuts, moving up the line, okay? And then we're going to keep the jab hands back. So up, up, up. Can you imagine that rope? You've seen them in the boxing gyms, right? I want you to get under the rope and give me those uppercuts and then just kind of jab, jab back. And keep the jab hand out, right? That's it, nice and easy. Again, ha, 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 and back. Perfect, take it down. I love this one. This is called the offset tabletop crunch. 
this. So right knee is bent, left leg is out, and you're giving me punches. Both legs are off the ground. You really got to stabilize that core here. Keep that chin up. Rep, 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 rep. It's going to burn so, so good. That's the point of this. Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. Let the muscles fatigue, right? This is taking the crunch to another level, baby. Three, two, one. Go, champ. Take it, take it up, take it loose. You got it. Woo! All right, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. All right, here we go. Take it up, take it up, take it up, take it up, and back, 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 and take it up. Boom, 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 ha, ha, ha. That's it, you need some hustle now. You need some hustle, use your legs, use your legs. Bah, 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 bah. Take it back. Let's go, travel up, 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 bang, and out, out, come on. 10 seconds left. Excellent work, champ, excellent work. Let's go, let's breathe a little heavier, let's move a little faster. You're doing awesome. Three, two, one. Take it down. We are going to go with that offset tabletop crunch again, but this time the other side. So the left leg is bent. The right leg is straight out. Great. Doing great. Now your, your one and only job is to pump those reps. Pump, 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 pump. That's it. Get that volume. Make it hurt a little. It's okay. Let the body respond. Take it up, shake it loose. Done on that one. Let's move on. Let's move on. Here we go. Next round now. Breathe and move. And we're going to go double body shot. Four straight punches, okay? So we're going to move, move with that double body. One, two, one, two. I am going with that shovel hook. Both right and my left, okay? I move to my left. I throw right body shots. And I go straight punches in the middle. I move to the other side. It's the opposite arm with those body shots and four straight punches. Boom. Pop, 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 pop. I'm moving to my right. Left body shots. One, two, one, two. I move to my left. Right body shot. One, two, one, two. You got it. Three, two, one. It's okay. Don't worry. You got round 16. Two. Make sure you practice again. Check this out. Five Supermans or spinal extensions. Come up to that high plank, which is a push up, right? Up. Two. Three. Four. Five, come up straight up. Good. Up, two, push that belly into the ground. Come up straight up. Boom. Again. Up, two, three, four, five. Come up. Bang. Perfect. Three, two, and one. Shake it loose. All right. Full deep breath in. We're going to move on again. Get ready. We're going to do the same thing. All right, here we go. Double body, four straight punches. Round 16, ha, 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 ha. Move it, bang, 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 bang. Body, body, shovel hooks, dig, dig, double, right? And then you go up to the head. Yeah, this, this is all about just drilling, right? I'm just trying to drill, right? We're working on different things. Bang, 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 bang. Thing. If there's anything I want you to get out of this, it's, it's possibly that side dig to the body or the straight punches, right? Nice and quick. Let's take it down now. We're going to go five push-ups and then one extension, okay? So we're reversing. Five, one, we're reversing it before we did the five extensions, one push-up. Now we're going to bang out those push-ups, baby. Let's get strong. Boom. Give me full range. Get those elbows to face the back. Right? Not, we're not keeping those elbows too wide. And then we come down to that belly and we lift. Good. That's it. Take it up. Shake it loose. Excellent work. Yeah. Keep breathing. You're doing awesome. Get ready. Here we go. Back to those over, under punches. One, two, up, up, 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 one, two, up, up. That's it. Now we are focusing on speed. Up, 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 Come on, over, under, over, under. These are jab crosses, uppercuts, uppercuts. Just as all about just speed here, right? Getting quick reaction. Make it burn. Getting those muscles to work. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Let's take it down to the ground now. We're going rotational sit up. Check it. Come into that diagonal position. Opposite elbow to opposite knees. Good. That's it. Do that again. Up. Twist. Down. Try to stick to that side. Up. Twist. 
down. Good work, keep at it. Less than 10 seconds. You're doing great, come on. Four, three, two, and one. Take it up, shake it loose, get loose. All right, my friends, we are almost done here. Let's go ahead into the next round. We are going to repeat again, okay? So get ready for it, here we go. Up, under, over, under, over, over, under, that's it. Just keep moving, right? Straight punches, uppercuts, nice and quick. Nice and quick, I want you to go ahead, focus, focus, sweat a little, move a little, right? Some hustle, bang, 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 bang. Yes, let's get it, let's get it, 10 seconds, come on. Keep that fire, keep that fire. Three, two, one. We go back to those rotational sit-ups, okay? So here we go. Remember, we come into this diagonal. We start there. It's almost like we're going oblique crunches, but we're coming up all the way to the sit-up and then we rotate to the other side. That's it. Boom, boom. Do your best. This is not an easy one by any means. You're just gonna do your best. Up, over, down. Up, over, down. Three seconds. Perfect. All right, my friends. All right, we're almost there. We finished round 18. Remember, 22 total. We don't have that many left. Here we go. Uppercut, overhand. Boom, bang. So this is the lead uppercut. Five. Give me that overhand shot. Up, over. Rotate. Bang. Power backside. Boom. Good again. Yes. Make those faces. Make those noises, right? This is all about power, baby. This is about... You are not taking any BS, okay? You are the one who is the dominant one. Three, two, one. All right, cool, on your back now. Starting with the legs up in the air, make sure the lower back is on the ground. We lower to as low as you can comfortably. We open the legs, we shut them, and we lift them again. So open, shut, lift. Now, it's kind of controversial that some people like to put their hands into their butts just to kind of help alleviate any back pain. I say, Instead of going all the way down, go halfway. Halfway with those legs. You don't need to go all the way down. Okay? You don't need to. Good. Take it up, shake it loose. I'd rather you work it that way than try to manipulate or try to cheat your, your way around it or cut corners. You know what I mean? Okay, let's move on now. Let's get back to it. Uppercut into a lead hook. And you're going to do a power hook. Boom. Yep. So now you are showing your dominance through that lead hook. Bang, boom. Rotate, turn those hips, right? Use the power of those hips. Use the power of your legs. Uppercut, hook. Rear uppercut, hook. Up, three. Four, three. Six, three. Doesn't matter what the numbers are. Now, to the ground. Open shut leg raises. Boom. Out, in, up. Down, out, in, up. Now, really important when we open and shut. Think about squeezing the sides of your tush tush. Seriously, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I call it a tush tush. Can you tell? I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I am a mom. I am a mom, and I call it a tush tush. <laughs> anyway, three, two, one. I'm sure you didn't know that about me, but now you do. All right, here we go. Here we go. I hope one day my daughter says, "Yo, my mom was a badass." All right, here we go. We're going straight punches with stance switches. One, two, one, bang, bang. And then you're switching your stance. So this is all about speed footwork. You know a little dance. I feel like Muhammad Ali here. Bang, bang, right? You've seen him do that. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Now, I ain't no Ali, but I will try my hardest to act like Ali. Not him, not the goat, but we are gonna just work. All right, take it down to the ground. Check this out. This is a progressive sit-up, so we're going half sit-ups. We are not going all the way down. We're finding that, that point where all you wanna do is collapse, but we're not going to because we're gonna really use those lower abdominals. We're gonna use our strength to control this movement, okay? Now, this is very advanced, so do your best. And if you can't do this one too much on your lower back, give me crunches, okay? No shame to our game. Take it up, shake it loose. You're gonna float like a butterfly, sing like a bee, baby. Get ready. 
Get ready in three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, one, two, bang, bang. One, two, one, two, ah, uh, ah. Uh. One, two, one, two, ha, ha. Keep moving, ha, ha. That's it, nice and quick feet, nice and quick feet. You are noticing that your cardio is freaking going. It's skyrocketed through the roof. Heart rate through the roof. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Come on, hustle, hustle, speed, hustle, hustle, speed. Come on, come on. Get better at your feet. Throw those hands quick. Sa -sa -sa -sa. Yes, come on, this is the last round, babies. Three, two, one. Take it down. Now, I wouldn't be Sylvia, and I say this every single time. We are definitely getting a bonus after this. So, let's finish that abdominal exercise. Keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight. And like I said, this is advanced. So, if you have to, have to give me crunches or change the movement or come up with something else, that's okay. That's okay. Or at least try one or two and see what you can do. All right, less than 10 seconds, but we ain't quite done yet. Five, four, three, two. Let's go. Plank, punch, plank, punch. Come on. Strong, strong. Right and left. Boom, boom. Keep switching. Let's go. You're in for a plank treat. Yeah, sounded corny, but it's true. Go ahead, jacks now. Plank jacks. Jump your feet out in, out in, out in, out in. A few more, a few more. Come on. Come on, give me some hustle. Give me some drive. Show me how hungry you are to be better, faster, stronger. Yes, take it to the low plank. Now we are not moving. There is no timer. There is no clock. There is no stopwatch. There's only my voice telling you that you can do this. All right? I need you to really, really believe in yourself. And if you fall out of this position, just get back in. All right? You can fall out. Nobody's judging you. Nobody's saying you're bad. It's just you need to get back in. You need to get back up. Hold strong. Yep. Focus on your breath. Focus on my words. You got this. You really do. Those aren't empty words. Those are the truth. Those are the truth. Those words are truth. You got this. You can do it. Right? They're not empty promises. And if you fall, you get back up until you get better and better every time. Please hold. Hold, hold, hold. Hold for you. For no one else but you. Strong core, baby. Strong core. You got this. I will tell you this. 10 seconds left. In case you're wondering, you held the plank for over a minute and you are done. How are you feeling? Don't you feel good right now? You did it. I'm so proud of you. You know exactly what to do. Drop that comment. Give this video a thumbs up. Share this workout with others. Share my channel with others. If you haven't subscribed yet, what the hell are you waiting for? Go ahead, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a workout. I can't wait to see you next time. Champ, you did really great today. I'm proud of you.